Why is nobody talking about the issues in Puerto Rico? Y yo necesito que ustedes compartan esto porque aquí la historia de su país, la historia del país de nosotros, miren cómo la acaban de tirar el zafacón. Sí, pero esto es un lugar que se supone que lo preservan. Miren, miren. That was yeah, I'm Yesenia Lee Irahama Tunay, a Puerto Rican native. And for weeks, I've been thinking about how I'm gonna talk about the issues that Puerto Rico is facing to my followers. How can I ask them to help when I really don't know how to help? I feel hopeless, like I'm watching my land burn from afar and not being able to do anything about it. The issues that I will likely touch on today will eventually have their own video. But my goal with this video is so it can reach as much like-minded individuals so we can brainstorm ideas of how what we can do to help. Whoever wants to help or you know anybody that wants to help, feel free to DM me on my Instagram page at LeeValdezJ. And now for the issues, constructions on wetlands. In Luquillo, Puerto Rico and other parts of Puerto Rico, the Puerto Rican government and the Institute of Culture have given the okay so companies can build hotels and other businesses on wetlands, killing the marine life and building on top of archaeological sites without the consent of us Tainos and other Puerto Ricans. At the moment, I don't know what can be done to help with this issue, but if you want to learn more about the situation, go follow the page of Elias del Molina. He's been following this situation since day one. Another issue, the gringos. Because of the tax incentives of Act 2022 and 60, the gringos, like Logan Paul and others, have been gentrifying the island and ultimately leaving the natives unable to afford housing. The gringos have an unfair advantage that my people do not benefit from. It has gotten to the point that our identity is slowly getting ripped from us, when before it used to be a bonus if you knew any language like English, and now it's a requirement for you to be able to find a good job in the island. This is why it's so important for us to have land. It's crucial that Puerto Ricans reconnect and acknowledge the Taino blood that runs through our veins for us to be able to preserve the culture we have left before it's gone. And only then will we truly have the power to change Puerto Rico.